This is amazing. This is beautiful. This is so grand. Oh my gosh. Is this supposed to be like a pool of blood? <laughs> what is this? Create sacred candles. What? Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a palace showcase. I'm showing you all amazing palaces and mansions and castles built by wonderful creators today. This is the third palace showcase that I have done. I will link the previous two in the description below if you are interested in checking those out. It has been years since I've done a palace showcase so this is very much overdue and it was highly requested but I am hoping to get more of these out for you all in the future. So these builds, I'm going to show you six of them today. They are built by amazing creators in the community. I did not build any of them, but I am going to link the name of the builds and the creator's gallery ID in the video description below, and we will also see them when we go to each palace. They are all CC free and they are all original builds, which means that they are not recreated, like remodeled builds by other creators according to the information I got from the gallery. So I am showing you guys six of them today. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. This first palace that I am showing you all is the Stone Castle by Samanda Builds. Samanda Builds has other amazing builds on their gallery. So definitely make sure to check them out. This build is amazing. It is for 64 by 64 lot. Also, the sim I am having it would travel with us to show all the palaces today. This is King Chattius Cheese String. Uh, Jake made him in a previous video and he is basically existing as a meme at this point. So welcome Chad. I will also link that video if anyone is interested in watching the stream where Jake made him. It was wild, crazy. He's here, he's existing. So, okay, first of all, can we just talk about about the moat, the landscaping. There's so much detail that is going into this castle. It is absolutely gorgeous. I I mean, like, look, look at this. This is crazy. So I'm going to show you all the aerial view of the builds first, and then we'll go in and see some of the rooms in a little like cinematic view. I'm not gonna show every single room just because we have a lot of palaces to get through. So you guys will definitely have to download these to check them out on your own, but I will show you guys. I mean, this one, I can already see this amazing stuff going on. So let's see. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Okay, so this is, it doesn't look like there's a bottom floor. It looks like this is the only, like the lowest floor, but it looks like when you walk in, we have the staircases here and then we have the throne room. Look at this throne room. I'm seeing some items from the Oasis Courtyard kit in here, but oh my gosh, look. The greenery, this is stunning. I am obsessed. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Like this is gorgeous. There's a throne room. This is the ballroom. We have a piano, we have little seating area, and then we've got a banquet table with, you could do like juice or fountain, like chocolate fountain or whatever you please. Um, and then we have a library over here. We have, it looks like a sitting area here, I believe. Yes, I think this is a little sitting area, like a little living room with a fireplace. Oh, so this, I think, is this a cauldron? Yes, so the oh, cook mac and cheese. So it looks like we have some magical items in here as well. And then over here on this side, we have an indoor pool. It's beautiful. I love the colors. It goes so well with like all the greenery around here. It looks like there's a hot tub out here too. We have the kitchen over here. And then we have the banquet room here. This is this stunning? So let's go to the second. Actually, uh, ooh, a lot. I don't, I don't know why. I just really love long hallways and palaces. I just think they're really cool. I don't know why. Um, but it looks like we got a semi-long hallway here. So this is really awesome. Lined up with all the plants and all of the knights. So let's see some cinematic views here. First of all, when you enter, let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look, I didn't put the ceiling up, but look at this. This is gorgeous. So this is when you enter and that is the view of the throne room. It is stunning. Hello. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's gorgeous. And I'll show you guys the ballroom here. This is also very pretty and I love the open window so you can see like the landscaping on the other side. And then let's also see, let's see the banquet room here. This is really cool. I love banquet rooms. I think they're so much fun. 
So this is the banquet room. This actually like makes such good use out of the green. I, I don't know, I feel like a lot of green usually is, is too much for me, but this I think looked really cool with the brown. It's just like very earthy tones, but very bright and festive at the same time. So now we're gonna go to the second floor. So you take the staircases up here. Looks like we have a bedroom right here. I love this pink and gold and white bedroom. This is so cute. And then we have, it looks like we have like an empty room here so you can do with this what you please. We have a little studio area here with a desk and it looks like some easels to paint. And we have bookshelves and stuff as well. And we have a guest room over here, another bedroom here. Oh, I love this little nook area too. This is cute. This, oh, this fits so well here. This is adorable, I love that. Okay, so we have that one, and then we have another empty room here, so you could do with this what you please. And then we have another bedroom, and another bedroom over here. Kind of, I wanna see this room here. Oh, whoa, okay, hello. All right, this is the bedroom. This is so cute, I love this. I love the Get Famous furniture. It just, it's so fancy, it's so pretty. And then I wanna see the nook area here, the little studio. This is so cute, this looks so cozy. I feel like I could be extremely productive in this room right here. Oh, look at this view. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> Oh, I love that. So it doesn't look like there's much up here, but it does have ladders and staircases that come up here. So you can put like little secret rooms up here if you want to. You could do like little lofts or attics or just things where there's your royal families are storing their secrets, something like that. But that is, let me just double check if there is a basement. No basement, bleh, sorry. There is no basement for this one, Um, but... That is all for our first build. The second palace I'm going to show you is called Castle Strahd and it is built by Omnisim who also has other amazing builds on their gallery. They are also another amazing builder as are all of these builders. There are a few packs I don't have that are in this build so there might just be a few things missing but it looks like there's just three things and there's a good chance they might have been substituted so just want to let you guys know that. I am trying to show you all some different builds. So this one is more for if you have any vampire royals, which I do know that some people in the community do. And this is made for the 40 by 30 lot. So it is a bit smaller, but it's perfect palace for Forgotten Hollow. And I now have King Chattius in his formal wear. So he, he's got his, his kingly wear on. So we're gonna start on the first floor and then I'll do the upper levels and then I'll show you all the lower levels because there's some really interesting stuff in there. So we have a very open space here. I love places like this because it's just easy to play in. We have the throne area here, which is very, very cool. Then we have the banquet hall area and we've got some portraits up. This looks like it could be previous royals. And I love this because it's almost like a sweetheart table or like this is where the king and queen would sit for like a sweetheart table for weddings. And then we have the kitchen here with a little eating nook area, breakfast nook, is that what it's called? Uh, over here for the family. Oh, I love this. So this looks like a meeting area in the library or this could be an office so if you are meeting with other monarchs they could be meeting here and then we have the living room area here let's go in so we can see the throne room i should probably put the roof on oh woo, okay so we have like the balcony here i love this i love when you can like be on the second floor and look down into the first floor. I just think it's cool. Um, so this is the entrance and the throne room. And then over here, oh, I love this. This is so neat. I don't know, it just photographs well. It, it looks very cool in cinematic mode. I feel like this makes a huge difference. The kitchen over there, I don't know if we need to see that in cinematic view, but it is very nice. In here, the living room. Oh, so it's not, like there's no door here, just kind of is an open area that leads here. So you could have your monarchs just meeting and chilling and doing a little like cocktail hour here before you go into your meeting. I love that. And then on the second floor, we have, a, this looks like a kid's room, which is very nice. So for your little mini kid vampire royals, a cold royals, they have a bathroom. And then we have another kid's room here. This looks like for smaller kids. And then we have a bedroom here. This is very nice. The bedroom here. This one looks like the master bedroom. So this might be for the monarchs and their 
spouse. And then over here, we have a little library sitting area. Oh, this also looks like a place where the monarchs can get dressed. I love this, yes. And then we have another one over here. So they're almost like closets. I um, mean, I love that they have little fitting rooms as well. And let's see this here in cinematic. You. So I, I just love this and it's also like I know a lot of computers cannot handle like giant builds that are extremely expensive and this is on a smaller lot anyway but I think this is actually perfect. Like if you're just looking for a place for your just like maybe like more, more goth royals or your occult royals like vampire or something like that, I think this has everything you need. It's elegant, it's gorgeous, and it looks like a place for like a family and you can of course make any changes to match what families you have as well, but I just feel like a lot has been thought. There has been a lot of thought that has gone into this build. Um, we have more bedrooms up here. We have the guest one over here. There's so many bedrooms. Like you could have a giant family here. And also these could be for like staff. You could turn one of the rooms into something else if you want to. I love that. And then this is, ooh, okay, so this is the fourth floor, I believe, fourth floor, yes. Um, and then we have like a bar here. <gasps> this is cool. And then you go outside and it leads to like the little chess room over here. Oh, I love this. I love that the towers are all connected. This looks like a little Zen room where you can meditate. You could turn these into little hobby areas if you would like to. Oh, I love these. Oh, oh, this is an art room. This is cool. This looks like like the whole family could do art projects together or they could have like a little painting class up there. That is so cool. Okay, so that is the top floor. And then we have the lower levels. This reminds me of one of my first Winterberg palaces because I put a little like spa area below, but and they have a gym here and I love the use of the plants as well. And then we have a yoga room here, and then a bathroom and then a sauna. So you can do like plenty of relaxing activities here. We have of course the caskets, perfect. Yes, if you've got your vampire sims, we've got bathrooms as well. And then the lowest, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, is this supposed to be like a pool of blood? <laughs> I, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm going to assume because of the whole vampire theme, but oh my gosh, this is, I want to say cool and terrifying at the same time, but also cool. The lighting makes this whole thing look like blood. Interesting, okay. I love that. Oh, is this, oh, I thought this was the crypt, but no, it's a dungeon. <laughs> This is a dun- Oh, people died in here. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, you can put skulls and bones in your inventory. That's kind of gross. Okay. Um, what is this? Wait, what is- What is that? Create sacred candles. What? I don't know what that is. This is very creepy, but also so cool. <laughs> I feel like this palace has so much thought put into it. There's just so many different rooms for different things. And like, like from the dressing area to just not to the crypt, to the dungeon area. <laughs> And all of the kids' rooms. Oh my gosh, this one, this is very different and I love it. Now this third palace I'm showing you is very grand. It is called du Ducal Palace, Ducal Palace V2022. This is by Camout Tops and Oh my, this one is expensive and it's big. So this one, if you have a lower end computer, might not be the best one for this, but I wanted to put in some grand palaces in the showcase today. This is stunning. I think this works perfectly for this Willow Creek lot. Just the way that the driveway kind of goes up to here, it works amazingly. And just, it's so beautiful. Like look at just the windows, everything. It's, it's stunning. So we are going to start on the first floor. I think there's, yes. Okay. There, there are some, some lower levels here, but we'll start on the main floor and the upper floors first. So when you walk in, you just see this courtyard. It is so pretty. I love this. Hello? Oh my god. Okay, so that's so pretty. And then we have the banquet room here. We have the kitchen over here. It looks very modern. I love that. I think this is the ballroom. Wait, is this the ballroom or is this the... Oh, this is just pretty. It's so... It's, oh my gosh, is it two... Wait, hold on. Is this two... Oh, it's two levels. Okay, we're gonna see that in cinematic view in a second, but... Oh, oh my goodness. I think that's the 
ballroom area? I believe so. I could be wrong, but it's it's definitely a place where you're gonna have a party. Um, and then we have a little sitting area here. And then we have a living room here, or parlor room. And then, ooh, this, okay, so this is a staircase that's leading here. And this looks like the, probably the monarch's office, which I love. It's just very bright and regal looking. Okay, so this leads up to the throne room. Like that could be like the waiting area before you're about to see the monarchs and the consort, but oh my goodness, this is, it's so regal. It has displays. Like look at, it looks like a museum. This is just so grand. I love it. Okay, now we have to see, oh wait, what is, oh, oh my gosh, we have another monarchs meeting office. I love that. I love, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, wait, maybe not. Maybe this is just an office for the, the like the office people at the, <laughs> the staff that does like the paperwork. Um, they even have a TV here. This is definitely for meetings. This could 100% be used as a monarch's meeting area too. Oh, and then we have a bathroom here. Okay, I, I have to see these in the cinematic view. This is so pretty. Let's start in the foyer here. Walking, walking in. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, well, there's King Chadius cheese string. He's walking in. So we're walking in. We see like the garden area. And then I believe the banquet hall was over. Yep, it's over here. This is just, it's so pretty. I love all the centerpieces. And then we have to see that ballroom area. I'm just gonna call it a ballroom um, because, oh my gosh, two levels. Oh wait, where, it's over here, hold on. Okay, oh my gosh, it's pretty. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness, they made the pictures longer so it like works with the, the two stories too. This is, just, it's so grand, it's so cool. Especially for like no CC, this is awesome. Like I, Love this so much. Okay, we have to we have to see the throne room too. The throne room's two stories too. Okay, let's oh my gosh, I love the flags and everything. Like there's so many little touches here that's so great. Look at this! <gasps> Wow, it's so cool. This is amazing. This is beautiful. This is so grand. Oh my God. Okay, this is like a little museum sitting room area. I can imagine like tours. I don't know if they do tours of the palaces, like well, I guess like we're doing now, but like, you know, in real life when you tour a palace, I could definitely see them breed like the little tour groups through here. And then yeah, the office. Okay, so that's just the first floor. There's some things on the second floor, but since a lot of those rooms were two stories, but so this is the second floor. You go up the stairs, you can see into the little courtyard area here, which is so cool. We have a bedroom over here. And then we have a sitting room here with a piano. And then a closet. Okay, so this must be the monarch's room with their little sitting area. And oh my gosh, yes. Nice closet. Oh, cl the closet combined with the bathroom. It's like sectioned off. Very cool. We have the library and a uh, slash office. Oh, we have offices and libraries here. Oh, it looks so grand. <gasps> Oh my god, and then you could see, oh, well, it looks like it's blocked off by some curtains, but technically you could kind of see in there. We got another bedroom here, a bathroom. Oh my gosh, and then you could see over the balcony into the throne room. <gasps> What? They got little kiddos they can like look over the balcony and peek over. <gasps> I love that. Okay, I wanna see, this is the closet. I want to see the hallway. There we go, okay. <gasps> I should probably put up the ceiling. Oh, is this three le- Whoa, wait, is that courtyard three levels? Oh my gosh. Oh, it is. Oh, that is so- Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. There's basically like a hole in the building, but oh my gosh. <gasps> I love this. It's so pretty, you guys. Okay, so in the third floor. Okay, we have more very grand, gorgeous bedrooms here. Look at this. Closets, bathrooms. They each get their own closet and bathroom and sitting area. This one has a piano. I love the color choices. All of their themes. Oh, this blue one's really nice. This one's so open, too. That's really pretty. And they get an office. That's a stunning office. And then this is the closet for this bedroom. Oh, my gosh. And it looks like they have an office area, too, with a desk. Oh, my. What is this room? <gasps> what? This is, like, just a sitting room, but it's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. I love how like big that painting is. Like it just makes it look so regal. <laughs> I love that. I think this is the the last, like the tallest floor, I believe. Well, no, okay. So we have a few, oh, oh, this is a nursery. So that's on the upper levels. That's cool. Okay, we have the nursery or like game room area for kids. There's just a room in the tower. <laughs> um, this is what is, oh, okay. oh, I see. Oh, okay. So there, that's like the offices and those bedrooms are two 
stories. Okay, so now we have the lower floors. So th this is the first, the first lowest floor. Um, we have an indoor pool. I'm loving these indoor pools in the palaces. And this one, oh my, this is just pretty. Oh, you could definitely have a party here. Like you could have the, you got the bar there and then, oh. Wait, this is so pretty. Oh, that's the crypt. Okay, yep, we got a royal crypt here. This is either a bedroom for a staff member or a prison. I'm not sure which one. It's one of the two. <laughs> we have a wine cellar. We have a game room and a gym. I love that with a little ping pong table. Oh my gosh, it has a movie theater. <gasps> this is cool. Okay, and a bathroom and then a storage room or a bedroom. A storage slash bedroom. This might be for the staff. That might be a bedroom for, oh no, wait, these are the bedrooms for the staff. These are like the bedrooms for the nice, like the, the nice stuff. <laughs> Wait, and then they get their own kitchen and stuff too? Oh, so a lot of this could definitely be for the staff. I see. I love how many different rooms are in this one too. There's just, there's, there's so much room for activities. I love it. So our next palace is called Royal French Palace by Mike AD 92 It is a bit more like a chateau. It is on the, it's a bit smaller. It's on a 64 by 64 lot, but the palace itself is smaller and it is under a million simoleon so i think this should work pretty well for lower end computers and let me say so it's beautiful it is so quaint and i love the landscaping and the pond and i don't know if this counts as a moat but it is very cool i feel like this works so well for windenburg this is in one of the windenburg 64 by 64 lots just because it matches that tudor style it's more of like a historical looking castle but let's see let's start on the first floor here so so this is the entrance way. We have a little parlor room here, a little sitting area. This is, I believe the foyer, and then this is the staircase. We have a bedroom here. This looks a bit more like the staff bedroom. We have a kitchen, and we have another bedroom over here. And then over here, we have a bathroom. And this leads, it looks like down to the basement, which we will go to in a moment. Like, I wanna just see like this little, sitting room here in cinematic view. Look at this, this is so cool. This is so nice. I feel like this could be a great castle if you want to do one, like a vacation, a holiday palace, like one where they would go to vacation or just one of your nobles if they wanna live here too. It's beautiful. And then we have the second floor. We have, it looks like a library here. Oh, I love that. I, does anyone else get so it like fascinated by these, especially when I was a kid, but something about miniatures like this, just like landscaping and models like this is just so, so cool to me. I loved it. But we have the library there and then we have, this looks like a parlor room slash drawing room area. I love the blue in here, this is so pretty. They have the piano here and then just the sitting area here with a, some music over there. This is the banquet room, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this is grand. You can fit so many guests in here. And then we have a little kitchenette over here as well. I wanna see this in cinematic view. Okay, so we have the banquet room here. You could definitely throw parties in here. A hundred percent, I love this. Such grand banquets could be held there. Did I miss anything with the bathroom over here and then this looks like a breakfast nook for the family an eating area for the family i love this it's so cute i just love the decoration here like it, it again makes it so quaint did we see this in cinematic view i think we did but we're gonna we're gonna see it again i love the colors in here it's so pretty and so elegant this is beautiful and then we have the third floor up here okay so this is where all our bedrooms are it looks like we have a another sitting room slash parlor room slash drawing i always forget which one like the, there's drawing rooms and parlor rooms and i know one of them is supposed to be bigger than the other and i think it's drawing rooms but i i always forget if i looked it up i would remember but i'm i'm, I'm do lazy too right now. So um, we have the bedroom over here. I love when they section off the beds like this. It makes it so grand to me. And then we have the sitting area for the bedroom. This looks like a sitting, oh, this must, okay, yep. This is the master bedroom. Red is just such a bold and grand color. I feel like it works so well for master bedrooms. But yeah, that's the bedroom. It's on a platform, the bed is. And their sitting room, the bathroom, and the, I think this is a, no, that's not a closet. That is a, that is another sitting. Okay, yeah, that's another sitting area. And then we have sitting area here, bathroom. We have a office over here that looks like the office for, oh, oh, and a game room. Oh, I love 
There's so much, there's so much room, like, entertainment. Oh, and then we have, like, an organ over here, too. Oh, this is cool. And then we have the fourth floor. We have more bedrooms up here. And then this looks like a kid's room. I love this. It has a little dollhouse. And then the other bedrooms over here. I think each have their own bathroom. Not the, okay, this one is, like, where the dresser is. And then this, we have the bedroom here with a vanity. And then, the, yeah, the kids. Are, so they all share the bathroom. Nice. Okay, so this is where all the extra bedrooms are. And then I think, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the basement. It has one coffin? Sleep. Okay, yes, yes. There we go. So interesting. I was expecting a crypt. A crypt? Crypt. Okay, so does it, this acts as a grave and also a coffin for your vampire sins? You can add your own history to there. Uh, but you could definitely, like, if you wanted to put more dead bodies <laughs> in here and, like, turn this into a crypt, like, the ashes of your royal family. It sounds so weird out of context. Um, for the ashes of your royal family, you could 100% do that. The fifth palace I'm going to show you is the Azure Palace, and it is by Aria Fay YT. This one is on the smaller side as well, but it gives like grand fantasy-esque. You guys have to see this, it's so pretty. So the landscaping here is one of my favorites. I just love the way this is on the hill and the way they incorporated the water. Like if you can see this moving, the way the water is coming from the arches, like waterfalls. I have no idea how they did this, but this is Stunning, I love this. So this one is on a 64 by 64 lot as well, but again, it is on like 400 K simoleon, so it should also be pretty good for lower end computers. But let's see the first floor. Okay, all right. So there's a bottom floor here. I love all the little buildings that everything is in. This is very cool. So if you let's start up here. So if you go up, I just love this hill. It's so cool. Look at this courtyard area. This is nice. So we have the throne room in here. I love this. Oh, I'm gonna pause. Um, the throne room in here. We have an outdoor seating area over here, and then we have. This is just cool. It is so cool. We have a cellar area here. And then down in the other buildings, we have a kitchen. Chatty's is reading. Okay. I think this might be for the staff, like a little, you know, like the, is those in-law suites, but like a, a, a royal staff suite, I guess. We have a, a coffin over here. <laughs> Wait, actually, I want to see this in cinematic view as well. All right. So this is the throne room. That is the entrance. And this is the throne room. I love the piano. So this could also very much be treated like a ballroom. And then, oh my God, this view must be amazing. Yeah, if you come out here and eat breakfast, oh well, pretend the roof isn't missing. But if you come out here and eat breakfast, this is so pretty. It overlooks like the cliffs, the bluffs of Winnenberg. This is stunning. And then we have the second floor. So you go up these staircases here. We have a bedroom. This looks like another little sweet area. This is where they can eat. And there's another little kitchen over here and a bathroom. And then we have a bedroom and then another bathroom. So yeah, this whole area looks like a little sweet to me. Another bedroom over here and a bathroom. And then the third floor more bedrooms here and they share a bathroom are this called like it's like jack and jill bathrooms right um and then we have a little this looks more like an attic so you could probably turn this into whatever you please i think that's it for that floor okay yes oh, gosh that view must just be amazing like imagine if like you your sim got proposed to here like it would just the, the sunset on the oh wait we have to wait we have to see this at sunset <gasps> okay hold on hold on 30, 30, 1 moment, please. Okay, this is good enough. Ta-da, sunset. All right, so imagine getting proposed to over here. Like this would be so, look at that view. That would be so pretty. Like just, just bringing your Sims here. Oh my gosh, that would be, st and look at the view down there too. Ignore that, but like, look, this would be so pretty. Guys, you, oh my gosh, you have to download this. It's so pretty, I love it. It's just romantic, and the sunset here. Oh, okay. Anyway. Oh, wait, oh, and the, oh, just the pond. The pond, it's pretty. Look at, look at this. Guys, <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm obsessed. Hello, Chattius. I'm obsessed. All right, 
And then the lower level, I don't think I showed it to you. I saw something. Whoa. Whoa. Yo, what? what? Oh, that's the bridge. I see. Okay. All right. So lower level. It looks like we have a crypt here. So you can put the ashes of your royals here. <laughs> and I think that's it. Yes, that is it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Again. Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. The last palace I'm going to show you all today is called the Palace of Dune. It is built by Snowy Mariner. I think this one is actually going to be really great to show you guys with the sunset that I had just set the time to for the last palace. But this one is inspired by, if you guys see my Royal Family series, it is inspired by the Oasis Springs Palace in there. And I just, it, this is so pretty. I love it so much. I just love the, I'll show it to you. Okay, so here it is. This is just perfect for Oasis Springs. It's saying this is for 50 by 50 lot. It is beautiful. I love the grounds. And they even, oh, they even have a sitting area. Okay, let's look at the, oh, whoa. All right, let's look at the outside first. So first of all, you get to come up through here, go through this beautiful garden. And then you go up here and there's a little sitting area you could eat out here. I love this. You can, there's a grill. Oh, I love this. I love the sculptures here too. This is a beautiful. And then we have the stairs going up here. So let's start on the first floor. So over here, oh my, oh, it's pretty. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so uh, well, I can't go to sit about a view yet, but um, this is the foyer and it's just imagine walking into this. This is so pretty. Definitely a lot of things from the Oasis Courtyard kit here, but oh my God, I love the use of this. This is stunning. Oh, a sitting area over here. And then we have the ballroom. Oh, this is so grand and so big. This, we have the ballroom over here. Oh my gosh. We have the, and it's connected with the throne room. They can do like speeches here. I, oh, a debate? They can do a debate here? I love that. And then, yes, the thrones over here. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, well, we gotta, we gotta see. Oh, and then we have the kitchen over here. Did we not? Oh, I didn't even show this side yet. Okay, so um, bathrooms, a uh, little parlor room, sitting area here. And yes, kitchen. And then banquet room with some bars. You could definitely throw a party here. All right, we have to see this. We have to see this in cinematic view. Okay, so this is the entrance. Oh, whoops. Entrance way. This is where you walk in. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, and then we got the ballroom here. This is beautiful. You can play music from there. Throne room. Let's go to the banquet area here. I just love, I feel like I'm traveling through this. All right, this is the banquet room. This is stunning. I, okay, yes, yeah, so the kitchen, I love this. This is the first floor, and then now we're going to the second floor. So you go up the stairs here, you can look down into the first floor, and then we have a bathroom, the bedroom, this is so grand. I love beds, I just, I don't know, the framed, like they're the centerpiece of the room, it's so cool. And then we have, this is the hallway and the bathroom, another bedroom over here with a sitting area and a vanity and a massage chair, I love this. This is an office it looks like with a chess table and a bookshelf. And then we have a gym and we have a bathroom, an office and a sitting area. I love the use of the corners here and another grand bedroom. It just looks so nice when you like look hold on look at this it's so pretty this is so, uh, the view here of course is always so nice especially the sunset here i feel like is unmatched you could like look in the front of the courtyard too i love that oh my gosh okay i just want to see the sitting area too in the cinematic view it's pretty I just, I, it's, it's, I just love it. <laughs> I, I, there's nothing else to say. The architecture and just the tiles all together and just the colors, the colors are so pretty. It's beautiful. Then we have the third floor. We have like a little balcony area here with a table, whoops, uh, with the table and chairs. And then we have the nursery here. This is so, I, the, the way, this is such like a, it's hard I feel like with rooms that are like wrapping around corners, but the use of this is so nice. And then it looks like we have an activity room here. Oh, they get so many activities. And then the sitting areas too here for like where the stairs are. Nursery, this is where the beds are. Another bedroom over here with the bathroom. And then we have this little hallway. So, oh, oh, I love how this is. Oh, I love how this is sectioned off. Look at that. That is so pretty. And then I think this is, is this a bed? 
Yeah. Well, yes. Ooh, yes. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. So the bed here is like sectioned off from the rest of the room. I love this is so like, it's so private. I love that. This is so secluded. And it's like on the platform too. Look at this. <gasps> Oh, that's like just your own little safe area. I love that. That's so nice. Was that everything? And then the bathroom over there. Yeah, okay, so I think that's everything on this floor. Oh, oh, and then they have some lounge chairs here. Oh, I love the uses of the balcony. Like, look at this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. You could like look out onto the gardens. That is stunning. I think there's a little bit on the floor. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, oh, okay, this is pretty. Look at this. Oh. I'm like speechless. Wait, you can get married here? There's a wedding, aren't you? Oh my gosh. Guys, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so, look at that. Look at that. It's so pretty. <laughs> and then you can see the sunset. Oh my gosh. Oh, the gardens. I love it. The colors. What is this? Is this like a party room area? This is just cool. It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, there's a hot tub and a kiddie pool here. I would spend hours outside of this palace. This is just so inviting. Oh my goodness. Like, what? Look, you could just walk through there. How romantic would that be? The fire? The fire. Oh. I have. <laughs> There was a fire at my Oasis Springs Palace in my series, so I just, I think I'm like slightly traumatized. <laughs> I saw the fire and I was like, oh, a fire, oh, a fire. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so that was that one. And then uh, I think there's a base. Oh, no basement, okay, okay, okay. That is it, that is the last one. <gasps> Oh, these are so beautiful. Okay, so that is the showcase. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you're downloading any of these palettes for your own royal gameplay. I definitely want to do more of these in the future. So if you want your build to be featured here, just make sure it is CC free. Make sure it's an original build. And also if it helps a lot of you guys do the hashtag mirror ray builds, that definitely helps and makes it easier to find. Um, again, and all the information about the creators and the builds are in the description below. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more palace builds in the future, if you want to check out my royal family series, information about that is in the description below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, enter on that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!